Welcome to Oxford Heirlooms. This is an introduction to project number six. I can't believe I've gotten this far along in creating projects. Okay, this is going to be an heirloom bubble for a little boy. All of my previous projects have either been gender neutral or for a little girl. So this is, you know, th this is gonna be real, real cool. Okay, so here is the sketch I have created for this particular little heirloom bubble. Um, since I oftentimes adapt my patterns, I have to make a sketch in order to estimate the materials. Okay, so this one's not gonna have any hand embroidery on it, but it is going to have a fancy panel on the bodice with some Swiss insertion in the middle, some French insertion laces, laces and then some decorative beading with some with some ribbon in it. Now the bottom of the or the body of the bubble is going to be heirloom blue, and from the entrée line up is going to be white Swiss batiste, and the ribbons will be blue to match the heirloom blue Swiss batiste. Okay. All right. Now the pattern that I'm using for this particular bubble is the ever adaptable Cherry Williams baby bubbles um you know this pattern um i think it's still in print um because i think that um well i just think it's still in print okay so the cherry williams baby bubbles pattern now i'm making this in size 12 month because it's for a little boy for his one year old photos now let's go over the materials list. I will create a slide of this and put this in at the end of the video so you can freeze the video and take a screenshot if you want. But let's go over what we have here. I, you need to have one half of a yard of 60 inch wide blue Swiss Batiste. You need a half a yard of 60 inch wide white Swiss Batiste. I've got about one third of a yard of a wide Swiss insertion. I've got about one and one fourth of a yard of three quarter inch French insertion, insertion lace, one and a half yard of half inch French edging lace. Now, both of these laces, I'm gonna have to be careful with them because they are Malene laces. And as I have mentioned before, Malene laces are one-sided. They're a little bit fuzzy on the back side. And this insertion lace, not only is it Malene lace and one-sided, it's directional also. So when I insert it into the bodice of the bonnet, I'm gonna have to take care that I orient the lace going in the same direction the four times I'm going to insert it. Okay, I've got two thirds of a yard of decorative Swiss beading and then about two thirds of a yard, a quarter inch silk ribbon, um, about four yards of Swiss entredeau, and five three quarter inch pearl buttons. Now, in some of my earlier projects, I've used quarter inch buttons, but because those were for newborn infants. When a child gets, to, when they're no longer a newborn infant, um, and I'm making little projects for them, I generally use three eighths inch buttons rather than quarter inch buttons. Now, a couple of the things that you'll need. You'll need some blue thread. This is by Mettler to match your blue Swiss Batiste and some white thread to match your white Swiss Batiste and to do the fancy panel. And you'll also need your specialty scissors. Um, now, what I'll do is down below in the video description, I buy these large spools of white thread because they come in real handy. Uh, because there's so much thread on the spool, I'm not running out of white thread as quickly as I would if I were using the small Mettler rolls. And there's really nothing that makes that special, only, you know, it just annoys me when I run out of thread. So I'll put a link down below for where I order this white thread. My Mettler thread I get when I order my, when I get my fabric. And I'll also put a link down below for the specialty scissors because they may be available in some of the specialty stores, but they're not available in the big box stores. Okay, so once again, this 
we're gonna be using the pattern Baby Bubbles by Cherry Williams to make an heirloom bubble for a one-year-old little boy. And this is project number six in my playlist. So this is video one of project number six, and we'll go ahead and get started. In the next video, we will cut out our pattern pieces and print, well, well, I'll have them cut out already, actually. And we will prepare our pattern pieces by transferring pattern markings. Okay, so that's what we're doing today. And once again, I will put the materials list up as a video at the end of this, or as a slide at the end of this video. Thank you.